Mac what? <laughs> what? What? Don't stare at me just because I'm more pretentious than you. <laughs> Put your head in the hole. You do the full head. No, no, there's one where you have a completely exterior. No. I don't know. I usually just put my head through. Wow. There's one because you go tuck it over and everything too. That's great. I just can't remember how it's done. Is it fully through? Oh yeah, then you tie back. You're right. It is the head through. What was I thinking? We're, we're joining the PLL. <laughs> The, the pie liberation arguments. Oh, <laughs> oh, that shit's not right. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it with pie. I'm going to that picture immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we celebrated a pie. We don't want to build it. All the champions get to wear the... Nice. <laughs> my pie burger. My pie burger. <laughs> Seconds, gentlemen, ten seconds. Oh. I think it's clear that we won't give it up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. It's a bird. Woo! That's not a good bird. Go to 30 hour or 30 hour day and donate more money. Donate, donate. Yeah, donuts. Yeah, no, 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 no. I brought bread pudding for I a surprise you. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the greatest nation in the world? Mm. Donate. Alpha Coke for the Honda. Mm. Someone had to say it. I gotta do it when nobody. They fizz. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's totally really down here. No. Dale needs it more than I do. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, Chris is the winner of the night. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, it's not my jam, but he won here. <laughs> Ten things fake. He came in in the last minute. I know.
sure it's on time. That's what we like. We love producer Joe, but everyone else out there needs to show. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Meme PDX, where we cover the hottest tech stories in Portland and beyond. Ooh, good, yeah. good jazz hands on that one. Wow! That was good. Um, we should do this in the sleep deprived state more often. Uh, don't we always do it in a sleep deprived state? Not quite I'm, this sleep deprived. I'm Rick Tarosi. I'm here with my co host, Cami Chaos. Sleep deprived, Cami Chaos. Yeah, very sleep deprived. And this is actually a live episode of Meme PDX. We've only done one of these before. Oh, good. And here we are in the secret, oh, undisclosed location. We just need to my set. get look. down a little bit. Or, like or raise the, there you go. All right, raise the roof. Whoop, whoop. Get that up a little bit. All right, great. Nice. Perfect. Hey, Rick. Yeah. What are you wearing? Well, I, for once, finally, somebody, I can't line it up, but somebody finally heard my pleas and, and sent me a shirt. It's the Mugasha guys. Yeah. Cammy's got a Mugasha shirt. I've got a Mugasha, Mugasha shirt. shirt. If you missed uh, them they were earlier. Concerned. They wanted to make sure that I had the right size, so I had two shirts. Yep, yep. And they, uh, Akshay from Mugasha played a set earlier this evening at 1 a.m. <laughs> it was awesome. It was I great. I was kind of feeling tired. Yeah. And then I wasn't anymore. Uh, yeah, and he, yeah. And then I sat DJ on the just lit the place like, up. It was great. Mm -hmm. And it was a great, it was a great set. I had and, a good time uh, to play with some work with friends. Yeah. And everybody, like, everybody kind of came out and hung out, and he was spinning, and it was good. And we'll have another DJ coming in. At not, six. Yeah. Six, well, at six, we've got a stand-up comedian coming in from Cardiff. Yep. And then we'll have another DJ. And apparently I can no longer control my volume, <laughs> because I'm, like, suddenly yelling in random ways. I, uh, sorry. Anyway, so we <laughs> haven't had that much um, time to prep for, thir for, for Meme PDX because we've been doing 30 hour day stuff. But there are a few stories that Plus came out last week. like a week early. -ish. Right, so stuff will happen while we're sleeping for the next five days yeah. that we just kind of wanted to catch you up on. Um, yeah. one, but we'll probably just do Portland stories. Oh, and we'll probably you. babble. That's nice. About them a I little like bit. That. I'm and probably make not do any. What time it is so we can cut ourselves off around the right time. Yeah, that's good. Oh. You watch the clock, and I'll just kind of. How long ago do you think we started? Two minutes ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is probably not going to be a 20-minute episode of me and PDX. Is it going to be shorter or longer? Longer, much. much by, longer. by how much? Do you I think? don't. Probably about by 25 minutes longer <laughs> than it usually is. I'm just saying. Oh, so Maybe. The problem, and, and I always. I'm bad at looking at the camera, especially during Mean PDX, but I'm going to warn you guys that we have giant monitors right now, like huge. And mm -hmm. it's like looking at a life-size washed out version of me with race cars behind me. They're even better than usual. It's very exciting. It's just very exciting. People. We need to get one of those for the, the other top secret silicon florist location. The oh, there's the camera. Right there. Hey. Wait. Oh. Camera. There. Well, we don't have Mojo Jojo on there, so oh. I can't really Can you make a monkey face? You just need to, oh, all right, fine, a little late. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. All right, now we're looking at the camera. camera guy That's awesome. So um, if you're, <clears throat> I know, he puts that silly doll up there and makes us look at it. But the, um, the, I'm going to look at the camera for you now. The biggest news in Portland last week, this week. 30 hour week, Oh, okay. There's bigger news than that. Okay. So the biggest news is that uh, Second Porch, which we've mm, talked about on the show yes before, um, secured funding from the Oregon Angel Fund, which is um, a fund managed by, I believe, angels. OEN and Angels. But it's a big deal because they are one of the first I've heard of in recent history of social media companies that receive funding from mm -hmm. those folks. They have to make certain, they have to meet a certain, certain commitment criteria. and certain criteria, um, but it's great to hear that because Second Porch is entirely a Facebook mm -hmm. app, and they're getting that funding, which makes leads me to believe that the funding mechanisms in town are starting to better understand where there's value in social media and web technologies, and they're they're growing to trust it more mm -hmm. and seeking to invest in it. So that's awesome. Nice. Yeah, you didn't, you're not even paying attention to I what did. I said. I did. I oh, did. I paid attention. So they're that's a big deal. They're understanding what the value is, and they're trying to pay attention to it and right. to, to help seek it out. Exactly. You <laughs> were listening. That's very good. Thank you. 
Um, and then the other one that, that I think, what else is new? <laughs> the other one, don't roll your eyes, that's not <laughs> cool. The other one I wanted to talk about was um, a site that was launched by Don Foster, which is crazy full, full of awesome, is the uh, Crazy Neighbor site, which lets you uh, document all the crazy neighbors that exist around you. Like, if they like to pile wood on top of their roof, or uh, if they like to get up on their roof and sing Star Wars or whatever. Or maybe like, if they like to record podcasts late yeah, at night like, and have all sorts of unsavory characters <laughs> coming in and out of their house at If for some morning. reason there's the same guy showing up every day and leaving at like 4 a.m., that's probably a crazy neighbor you've got there too. But um, it's a great site. It's very much along the lines of like, uh, what, no, I meant your neighbor, I don't. So because I have this same guy showing up at my house every day and leaving at 4 a.m., I have a crazy neighbor? Not anymore. And after this, you won't see me for weeks. Okay. You promise? <laughs> Maybe. I may just be there. I'm going to look at my calendar. I, 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 I kind of get into a pattern, and I may just accidentally show up and be there for some... I'm just saying. What Don't would worry. you do at my house? Record stuff. Oh, look. Hey, look at that. Nice. Well done, guys. Thanks. There's crazy oh, neighbor right there. Good. In fact, maybe we can do a little crazy neighbor thing when we take out our Christmas tree and just kind of lay it on the sidewalk. Where we might we get some. Put it? I don't know. That's going to be a problem. really big Christmas tree. <laughs> um, so those are the two, like, Portland stories that I have. Yeah, I'm sure some other. Else? Google came out with a URL shortener. That's another big story. Well, we need more URL shorteners. There's just not enough of those. There aren't enough URL shorteners in the world. There could always stand to be a few more. I myself have a URL shortener, just yeah. my own, yes. I do. I love it. I love what its pieces. It? Twirl.cc. Feel free to use it. Go ahead. It'll track your clicks and all that jazz. You didn't know that? That's another one of my side that projects. Yours. That's what that's what powers actually. I, I'm aware of it. I just didn't realize it was yours. Yeah. What so don't you do? Jeez, man. I don't code anything. I just hire people. Yeah, I am. I, I'm aware, but still. But the um, so bacon. Where do you find the time to do these things? Bacon, who will be stop. <laughs> bacon. I'm just asking. Who will be providing breakfast in like a few uh, three, three hours? hours. Um, they you guys better be on time. The URL shortener. Or you could be late. I don't code care. from Twirl also runs bacon.me. Bacon yeah. So, um, only it looks a lot better than Twirl. There's bacon right there. Sponsors. Bacon. Can't wait. They'll be cooking breakfast with Pete Grillo from Iterazi. We'll get bacon and omelets and hash browns. Caramelized onions. Yeah, Chase Reeves is going to be cooking up the hash browns. So that is going to be sheer awesome. But to get back to so URL shorteners. Oh, he's a good guy. Yeah. He's a good guy. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on camera and it's recorded. And if I have, then it's one of those things where I I'd feel like you. a jackass now. <laughs> Maybe but she actually fair, has met to Chase. To be fair, in half an hour, I will have been up for 24 hours. That's true. And I've had That's a busy true. day. No, it's been all right. Well, we didn't sit around in big leather chairs. We didn't do this all day. Oh. Felt like we did. We, there day. was the time that we sat on the big leather couch. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot about that part. <laughs> and, there was and we had to ride in an elevator twice. That was really stressful. It's tough pushing buttons and stuff. Yeah. I carried a, um, I carried a tripod. You did. You carried a lot of equipment. And I was lighting, proud of you. A lighting thing. thing. Yeah. I found a mic baffle that fell off. I was proud of you. You had to crawl yeah. around on the floor. I know, it was great. In the Dude, mayor's in the office. Couch. In the mayor's office. Whatever, it's cool. Oh, awesome. Um, it's super cool. How often do you get to get Rick to crawl around on his hands and knees in the mayor's office? You know what the, the you, you know what the couch. beauty of doing this show without Dr. Normal is, and I don't want him to hear this, but nobody knows about the blue screen when we talk I too know. long. It's still going. That is so I don't know. We just keep talking until someone shows us the blue screen, and then we change subjects. And then we realize, holy crap. We've gone we're too just far. babbling. What's wrong with us? So, why are URL Dr. shorteners Google important, like Cammy? Why would Google want a URL shortener? I know why URL shorteners are important. Okay, tell me. For me, it's all about the Twitter. Ah, so it's saving your characters on Twitter? It's the only reason. Because you don't use them anywhere else? else? Do I? I don't know. I, I was don't asking. Think I do. No, because anything else, I, I, like, I like to link things. And mm -hmm. so you just copy and paste and make the link. Do I? Am That's I lying? fair. No, I was just I was just asking. You just look really disapproving. I don't approve of the way you're using URLs right now. <laughs> I have a giggle. 
Yeah. So no, the the, <laughs> the value, in my opinion, of yeah. URL shorteners. The reason I built one or it's paid you like somebody. To have lots of things. I had a URL that I purchased. It seemed like a good thing to do. No. So the um, one of the six hundred odd URLs I own. The um, you're a pack rat. I am. The thing that's interesting about URL shorteners to me is that we now exist in a time where we share information. Mm -hmm. And I think we've talked about this before, maybe, probably on the pilot episode that will never air. Never, it's that ever, exciting. Ever. Just get ready. This is the, I'll, never. I'll talk about it again. It may cancel this episode. Who knows? But that they we, will. It's okay. we, do, <laughs> we do things on sites where, we'll, so we'll go on Twitter and we'll, we'll share a URL to a completely different site, mm -hmm. right? Like, we don't own either side of that data stream, so we don't know if anybody's clicked on it, we don't know where it goes, we don't know any of that stuff. But if you use a URL shortener, then suddenly you get this view into what's going on with the URL that you wouldn't get by using the long URL. And that makes it interesting to Google. So, data, yay data. Brian's excited about the data. That kid loves you guys his like data. like data a lot more than I do. Lots of munging Although, and data know, I stuff. Like, I like data from Star Trek. Yeah, that's because you like Picard. So do you. Tea or gray, hot. I always wondered, do you have to set the temperature for the tea machine? No, that thing knows what it's doing. Okay. It's Star Trek technology. It's awesome. I want Star Trek technology. I want Star Trek to beam me off the set, <laughs> bring me back at the end of the day. Am I really that bad? It's not you, really. It's just the lack of sleep in these lights. These lights are a little not as They're not quite as hot. As the other light. You know, this yeah, is actually... Yeah, under the really bad lights. So yeah, you actually, it's you hot. You're under the second worst light. It's, in fact, you should turn those off on the poor yeah, guy. Yeah. You're still thank frying you. him. Thanks, thank Brian. You for, oh, thank you so Woo! much for saving our So friends. the funny thing is we thought this was going to be a really long meme PDX, and we're actually out of content already. Let me look. We've only been talking for 10 minutes. Let's see what I can find something. And there are 85 people watching. You know, if, know you get, if you get bored, you could uh, donate a little money to the, to the 30 hour stop day. Talking, but I'm just going to go over here in this first story. Uh, oh, look at, look at where we are. We're up over 1,600 now. Thank you very nice. much. So it's, we're at 1610. The current uh, thing we're, to which we're donating is, I believe, Oregon Food Bank. So, so far, just so you guys know, Hey, We've raised eight hundred and twenty dollars for Oregon Food Bank. I was looking at Read Write Web for a story. Yeah, they had a post today. Thirty hour days on there. I know. Mar I, who who wrote it? Marshall. 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 We love Marshall, the Marshall Kirkpatrick. Marshall. Why is it always Marshall? He's just a good guy, that Marshall guy. I couldn't even get like the, the Cindy like enthusiasm up. I was, was impressed that you didn't stumble over Read Write Web though. I'm too tired. Yeah, you just don't even think about no. it. Just, uh, yeah. When I'm tired or drinking or otherwise incapacitated, I can say things that I can't yeah. normally say. I wonder if Richard's. Uh, what, I wonder what time is it in New Zealand right now? I don't know. It should be a What's the clock time say? In New Zealand. Do we have a New Zealand clock? We have Melbourne. That'll get us close. Hey, Irk, what time is it where yeah, you are? Yeah, Irk. 5:25 there. A.M. or P.M.? P.M. It couldn't be 5:25. Would you please look at what time it is here? I, don't, I get confused with that international dateline thing. How could it be 525 a.m. <laughs> there in here? It's tomorrow, right? It's already tomorrow. Oh, it's midnight. Oh, so it's late there. Yeah, but Richard might be up watching mm. the Read Write Web founder. You know what I'm upset about? What? That we did not drunk dial Steve's wrong. We have not. We haven't, you know, we haven't drunk dialed any of our foreign friends in a while. It's been ages. It has been ages. Since, we was that when I was on? So we did that? No, that was Holodal. Holodal. Holodal did that, yeah. Maybe we'll do that for New Year's. That would be fun. Yeah? I'll be on Strange Love on uh, January 1st, which happens to be somebody's birthday. Somebody's I won't tell you who. Somebody's special birthday, not me. Yeah. Somebody cranky. It's not Brian. Yeah. It's not Rick. It's definitely not me. No. It's not Greg. Mm -hmm. You try and guess. Well, I'm just, your birthday is not January 1st. Is it? Okay, good. I mean, it would be freaky if I said it wasn't, and then it was, and then, suddenly, then I'd be a liar. Yeah. I like this Mugasha shirt. I like it, too. It looks nice on you. Thank you. Um, Brian Westbrook? Yeah. Uh, nice. Oh, look, butterfly. <gasps> Ooh. Catch it. It's shiny. Hey, should we end the show? 
We could end. We could end the show. We're kind of out of content for we this are. week, but I mean, we, we can, just still got to. We can stay in banter, but okay. I think we should wrap the show up. So okay. That, so that the show is over. Yeah. So Meme PDX. Because that way we'll have short show set. this week. Uh, no, I think it's about 20 minutes. Really? Okay, great. Yeah. No, I think it's about the right length. Awesome. It just had absolutely no content at all. What? Did you not hear my interesting point about your all? Thank no, you, really, Greg. Thank you. Do you want to do the show with Greg? Maybe. Dude, there's Dude. another Mugasha shirt. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we can squeeze into that one, but that would be, that's okay. Um, I'm just saying we normally have more content. Yes, and, it's, and we're, not, we're normally not doing it at 5.30 a.m. It's we usually want, more like 2.30. Did we once 30. finish it at 5.30 a.m.? We once finished at 3 a.m., I think. We always start around 8.30, so that's not pretty. But anyway, right. thank you. Thank you so much. I hope that was Til a next time. delicious lunch. Yeah. I, I am blurry out. I can't see what it is. Yeah, it looks good. Whoa, which chair is mine, dude? Where did you get plugged in? Yours is that one. There's but you're not on your mark. There's a plug in hell somewhere. Yeah. Hey, you know what we should do? We should finish decorating this dang tree. That would be great. Yeah. Okay, great. Can we decorate the tree? We're good. I don't know Sorry. Plug in. They don't. They don't. They don't. There's one over there, but we can't. Oh, hey. Hey! We're back. How you guys doing? All right. Oh. Okay, you know what? We're oh, gonna the do? lights again. Yeah, we, this is the evil lighting area. Just in case you guys All right. didn't know. So, so we're gonna put some more decorations we're on the tree. Put some more decorations on the tree. I'm gonna put this. Uh, Let's see. I'm gonna put this cow. crazy star. Are you have a cow? Oh, that's a horse. Let me see. See? <laughs> he kind of had rope oh, around his leg. Oh, his leg is broken. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to put him down. He's got a giant on his belly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yay. Somebody has to decorate right. the tree. Nice. Let's do one How more. the music on <laughs> Yeah, because we got to have the piano cleaned off by exactly. tomorrow, because Aaron Weiss is going to be here to do a little. T today. Later on. Whenever. Like five hours. What I, I don't know. God, you guys are so harsh. We've been up for a long <laughs> time. Did Give you guys break. have to be somewhere? Jeez, do we? Just asking. Right. There, that's that. Did you guys get oh. to take a little nappy nap? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I need a weightier branch. What's this? What's Dude, what? This, it's like hippie jewelry. I love I it. I know. I'm what? Put it on the tree. Crazy Betsy bringing crazy She's things. She's got stuff and things. I do. know. Ooh. Just saying, stuff's got to go on the tree. Hopefully, this is making you feel festive and happy. No matter where you are. Are there are. any, are there any World that we're allowed to sing? Yeah, or? no. All right. Yeah. Nope. Nice idea, though. Thanks. I thought you'd like I'm that. really shocked nobody's watching outside. Hello? Yeah. Oh. Joe, oh, okay. are you getting a lot of noise off my mic? Because I keep hitting it. Is it okay? Okay. Hey, look. A What'd you find? Clip. Oh, not mine. Yeah, it's one of Dr. Normal's, I can tell, because I've uh, dropped it. Because it's dented from two. us dropping it and every he's time? he's going to be super ticked off when he finds out that it was laying on the floor, people. So what have we got coming up today, later today? Stand-up comedian. Stand-up comedian, yes. Cardiff, Wales. Yeah, yeah. 
some Welsh stuff. Yeah. Right here, Cardiff. That's what time it is right there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the Cardiff clock. Um, and then Music. DJ, so Chris DJ Brentano, Chris Brentano. Who does uh, drum and bass. If you like the drum and bass, Can he'll be bringing... Ooh, that's mm -hmm. nice. He'll be uh, bringing some of that ooh, I noise. Stab the tree, dude. Which is awesome. And he was really kind to agree to come in bright and early in the morning to entertain you folks. in the morning to entertain you guys. And uh, we figured that you're no longer entertained with us. Yeah, that ha that stopped happening about I don't know 15 hours ago. I think. Ah! Mike, he just stepped on what the, the? Set and moved my chair. What the? I thought it was a burglar. I, I thought, thought those were the marks. Um, That's a word, right? Burgled. Burgled is a word. It wasn't sure. Like a, a no, word burgled used. is an awesome word. Oh, I was about to be like, dude, who are you on the street? Yeah, if What's you're from Cardiff, show? Wales, burgled is an was. awesome word. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, and then we got breakfast. Is that what's next after the DJ? Yeah, breakfast. Or do we have anything else? No, we have breakfast. All right. We've got funny, I like breakfast. funny, funny lady, and then we've got breakfast. All right, cool. I like breakfast, especially that part where the clock, I have to be careful not to put something into the clock. Yes, yeah, be careful of the clock. If you well, will. We don't want the, where's the paper chains? I know what and happened to Erica's. Oh, the poinsettia got a little trashed. I think we need to move so that. Sad. That's all right. We'll move it. It's over here because um, we had it for uh, Curtis. It was behind his stool. Oh yeah, it needs to come back. Oh. Oh. See, look. Oh, sad. This is what happens to a poinsettia after 30 hours. See, not good. Not even not good. 30 hours, and my chair is still not on its. 15 mark. hours. 15 hours poinsettia. You're going to sneak fail. on set and burgle. Watch, we'll just stick that in there. No one will notice. Put it in the right Don't tell way. the people who tune in later that I broke that. Please. They'll never know. Just don't it's pay fine. attention. What are the letters you have to give people since we haven't given people letters for like 12 we need to give hours? We a lot of letters. And I just not. Tell you what, if you're up now, just like at, re at yeah, reply us or something, we'll get you something. Because well, you, you've done enough. I Abracadabra. Mean, really. Oh, now you gave the whole I'll thing tell away. Them they don't know the rest of it. Oh, good point. There's more to it. Yeah. But if you're up now, I'm just going to tell you, even if you didn't watch from the beginning, Abra freaking Debra, okay? Yeah, because you deserve it. Because you're a trooper. You are sticking you're with the, the 30 hour day. Time where you are and then as well as we are. Anything. Don't walk into me. I'm sorry. I need my space. <laughs> I've got the little angel, just um, like me. Reindeer in the tutu. Interesting. A reindeer in the tutu. I'm not sure. And this is some sort of headless. Ow! Frick! Are you okay? We cannot be held responsible <laughs> for any injuries on the premises. Dude, this goes While to filming the 30 hour thing. day? Whatever I had just. Yeah, see? Oh, it's broken in half. Yeah. I see. Dude, that's let's a... take this thing off the tree. That's dangerous not be hurt. to everyone. Does someone want to deal with the. Be careful with it because Kimmy bites. just cut herself. Don't cut yourself, please. Thanks, Joe. It's just a tiny little cut. <sighs> but that's the third injury I sustained today. I actually don't even need this. You don't need these? I don't think so. We're just... Going to be charming? Charming. Charming the pants off the folks at home. Put of course, if you're wearing pants on. right now, I don't know what your problem is. I'm wearing pants. So I am you. too. How weird. Hey. I'm looking around the room here. Yeah, I see a lot of bright, smiley a lot faces. Of pants. Who? Brian, are you leaving? He is. Come on, come on, on again, advice, please. please. Even grab a mic or something. So. No, he can just. Pop on. Yeah. He so. Does. He's got. <laughs> I'm always yeah, carrying a mic. Pocket. I'm always ready to go. So BMW, who has been doing the remotes for us and has really been running a lot of the production doing some great lower thirds for us throughout the show. He is headed back to Seattle, thanks to our sponsor, Seaport Airlines. And, uh... Well, hello. Hi! <laughs> you know, this, uh, the, the funny thing is, is we had this mic flag out in the field. It seems like weeks ago. It really does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, had this out in the field, and everyone said, wow, it's so official. And it, <laughs> But you know, this kind of is a big deal. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of is a big if deal. If you have a mic flag, you know, you're legit. You're, you're legit. Yeah, it's yeah. really, it's the proving point. Or a, an attractive co-host, I think right. that's the other. Or a, a bumbling, good, thank you. That's, I was waiting for that. <laughs> that was good. That was pretty that's good. Awesome. That was pretty good. Yeah. It's what hour, what, what hour are we at? Hour 12? 
Yeah, we're getting 14. we're getting close no, to halfway. Half. Like hour, we're an hour. 13? Oh yeah, thirteen, fourteen from from halfway. I think. And uh, closing in on two thousand dollars. Yeah, I just yeah. looked again and it was sixteen ten or something. Pretty incredible. Come on. That's pretty cool. If we can be over $2,000 so. by breakfast, Cammy will be really happy. Cammy will eat breakfast or something. What, I don't know what that means. <laughs> if Cammy's happy, I'm happy because she's know, not hitting me. You know, I don't like to me. make hollow promises. I do like to make hollow threats. <laughs> <laughs> How do those work out for you, actually? It's not true. I don't make hollow threats. She follows through I on do. every threatening really thing do. she does. I really do. So I'm uh, I'm, I'm about to get on my Seaport Air flight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks again to Seaport Air for yep. flying me up here because um, awesome. I haven't slept since we started, kicked off the broadcast at Beer and Blog at 4 o'clock. Wow. And then we went to Peacock Lane. And yep. again, that seems like weeks ago. <laughs> I'm going to fly Seaport Air. And then uh, if all goes well, I'll be checking in with you from Seattle from, from a 30-hour day viewing party awesome. in Seattle. So Great. like it doesn't stop. So. And there's one more part Can that you, you have to play. Mm. Did, did you want to? She's, are you going to sleep, sleep on the, on the plane? plane? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, it's not a very long flight. It's like you get you don't because you don't do TSA, so you like you right. just go to the PDX. It's, it's kind of like it's kind of like you're you're real special. You know, you pull up, you toss the rental car keys to someone, you board this little plane with nine seats, and and you are seriously like VIP. Yeah. No security, no nothing. They take your bags. Yeah. They complain because I have too much weight, but I'm like, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you know, honestly, star. like, honestly, we, it, it kind of closed in, and I, I just didn't know. Apparently yeah. there's, I mean, it's a small plane, so they have to wait and balance it. And then they tell you, you have to sit in this seat or that seat. I'm like, oh, okay, you know. <laughs> but you get on, and it's like, you know, there's no lines, there's not a bunch of people, right. and it, you can literally show up at the airport five minutes before, so it's super cool. That's awesome. And tomorrow, uh, you guys are auctioning off a trip to Seattle. Right, that's what Correct. I was going to say. Your Long last, Absolutely. the last part is uh, something that Brian helped us arrange, which is an auction item for... So two people on Seaport Air. Mm -hmm. uh, you will also have the advantage of getting a hotel stay at Hotel Max, mm -hmm. which is great. They're very involved in the social media community mm -hmm. up in Seattle. Hotel underscore Max is their Twitter name. And then also, um, you know, while you're up there in Seattle, who knows? Maybe I'll meet up with you and meet up with the person who wins the auction prize. Mm -hmm. uh, we can take them to Google for dinner, for lunch, mm -hmm. or Microsoft, or you know, because cool. we've got a Google campus up there, Amazon is up there, certainly Microsoft, and so we'll do a little bit of a geek tour, maybe right see on. Jeff Bezos' Ooh, former house, nice. and uh, nice. and do a swing by, I we'll do a fly it. by uh, Bill Gates' house, perhaps. So. Right on, yeah, cool. But I got a jet, you guys have fun, we'll, uh, I'll so be listening, much. and we'll check in with you from Seattle. Excellent. Have a, have a safe Hang trip. In there, guys. Thank Cheers. you very much. Brian Westbrook. You know what I noticed while Brian was talking? What? DJ gear. DJ gear getting loaded in? All right. I'm not wrong, am I? Oh, no, no, I'm not. no, I think we're in good shape. I have to be ready. So, yeah, so we'll get them set up on the table over there, which means we'll have access to the awesome green screen again for so all good. kinds of wacky digital effects like we like. Um, yeah, ooh, don't get so excited. It's early in the morning. I was pretty excited. He looked excited. I, he's excited for being up as long as Do he has been. Do you think he been. slept like, later than we did? Mikey, what time did you wake up? Cameraman Mikey, six. six? So you and I were both bumping. You're on the same schedule. He's, he's hit 24 at 5. He will put 5. Yeah, so. What time that's did okay. you wake up? Ten nice. Nine. I like you. Smart man. You Smart man. are the Playing winner. You can keep going and going and going. So um, maybe the next, is Chris standing there? I, I, I don't know. I was just going to say, we can figure out how long we need to stall for Chris to set up and uh, keep chatting a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. fine. I'm just curious. No, so, we're okay. We're, off, we're okay. We can handle this. We can, um, you know. Joe, you're the one that said that you had faith that we could come up with 30 hours of content just sitting. It's easy, I'm just gonna right? I'm going to have to choose to chat. have faith in Joe and, yeah. and believe that his faith in us is not misplaced, even though it's so even Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong Chris, decision. Chris? There's Chris right there. Woohoo! Hi! Hey, man. Um, you, it's okay. You can go to your table. Yeah, go, go, go take your care table. of your stuff. So you know something I thought we could do, what? which this we'll do this later in the day uh -huh. too. But given that we need time, we do to fill. Yeah. I thought it might be a good idea to run through all of the people who sponsored 30 Hour Day, just so people know. Oh, that's good. Because there are a ton of sponsors. Would so. Would you like me to read them? Do you want to? I can read are them. you going to do it in your breathy voice? I can. Okay. This one? Yeah, I like that one. That one's good. Okay. All right, hold on. I've got to adjust my belt. <laughs> so yeah. the breathy works. Okay. So there are all of the sponsors. Red team. This is a dramatic reading mm -hmm. by Cami Chaos entitled "Sponsors of 30-Hour Day." Cami. 
Seventh Planet Picture Show, A Boy, Beacon, BJ's Coffee Roasters. I'm gonna start giggling. <laughs> yeah, that, in that breathy voice, that might not be the best one, but. <clears throat> Blue Hour. <laughs> 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 Just keep going. Come on. I'm, you're losing me. Uh, think John Houseman. <laughs> You know what, I'm happy because we didn't have to watch that. I know, we totally dodged mm -hmm. that bullet. <laughs> Blue Hour, Comcast, Duo Chronicles, Food Geeks, Hotel Max Seattle, Itarazi, Martin E, Nedwater, News Radio 750 KXL, PDX.FM, Pi. No Pi. Yay, oh, Pi. That's a very unflattering camera angle. Don't look at the camera, Cammy. Look away. <laughs> look away from the light. Oh, okay, we're on the big one again. Oh, that's better. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Research similar. Small society. Target for tomorrow. Tech craver. Tiny meat. <laughs> tiny meat. Tiny, tiny meat. Again. Yeah, say that one more time. I love saying tiny meat. <laughs> Do you want to read some? I have the giggles. No, I, you're almost oh, done. Okay. No, I'm like halfway through. Oh. Tiny meat. Wantus, Wyden and Kennedy. Nine 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 they didn't sponsor. No. Ninety-five point five the game. And Bocci. Beer and blog. Blaze streaming media. Yay! Woo! Bridgetown printing. Dr. Saucenstein. Food cart Sportland. Hawkley Photo. Icon Factory. Lock it to you. Mugasha. Neighborhood Notes, Our PDX, Let's Pick I Am, yep. Portland Trailblazers, Seaport Airlines, Slate Technologies, St. John's Coffee Roasters, Taylor Atkins Consulting, Techstars, Ustream, Whippy's Fried Pies, and Yelp Portland. Woo! That is awesome. Hey, and there's that. a giant trash truck outside. Hey! Hi, giant trash truck! Maybe we should invite the garbage guys in. To hang out. I don't Struggle, know. yeah. Well, hey guys, how's it going? What you doing? Picking up the garbage. Getting some garbage. That's cool. Um, so yeah, so all of those great people contributed to helping make this happen. We probably missed somebody. We probably did miss somebody, and we will definitely make that up to you. But um, I'll say it in my breathy voice later. Yeah, we'll get that all figured out. Extra extra breathy. Yeah. Hey, it's raining. I know. The hey, weather has changed drastically. Hey, Since we've been here, it, it was it was like many hours. Something degrees and sunny and nice outside yeah. when we got here. Yeah. Now it's dark. How did that happen? No, it's like weird day or something too. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. Well, you know. Dude, it's kind of cool to watch. The, I don't think they can even see the rain hitting the windows. No, probably not. Have you sustained any injuries since we arrived here? No, you've sustained two. No, I've been okay. Three now. Oh, man. This is not going well. You're still going to cry first. I don't know. You get pretty choked up on the Raggedy, the Ann. The Raggedy Ann stuff you know right what? off the bat, I got too. it out of the way early, and I'm okay now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What if tomorrow... Whatever you say. They Care come me. and they talk about the... Uh, what sport did you play? Lacrosse? Lacrosse? Yeah, I might get choked up about the lacrosse What if someone stuff. brings them a lacrosse implement? Imp stick. They're called a <laughs> stick. <laughs> that... Thing uh, with the net uh, on I the end of it. The process that people get their noses broken. No, do they? I don't oh. know. I'm making shit up now. Maybe. Wear helmets in lacrosse. Does the helmet cover your nose? Yeah, it's got a big cage right there. That's like a hockey mask. Exactly. It looks very much like hockey. Because lacrosse is a violent sport, right? Because lacrosse is basically like hockey on grass. Okay, so explain lacrosse to me. <laughs> oh, this is great. No, so no, so understand. yeah, it's very much like hockey on grass. You. You have a uh, puck? You have a ball, which is a which is a solid rubber ball that weighs about like a pound or two. And uh How you big? have it's not that big. Are you big? So the size of a puck ish. Yes, but but spherical. I like pucks. Yeah. And not quite as big as a puck, but okay. spherical. And um the goal setup is very much the same. So the goals sit off the end line and they have a crease like in hockey, so you can go around behind them and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then you have 
Much in the same way you have uh, defenders and, and, and offensive guys uh, who, who are supposed to remain on certain sides of the field, there you get offsides called kind mm -hmm. of thing. You have goalies. It's interesting that you should choose hockey because I actually do. I actually do kind of understand hockey. Yeah, well. and the plays are very similar. You yeah. know how they'll run plays. Or, they, or lacrosse, they'll run ones that are very similar to basketball plays as well. So a lot of, a lot of people setting picks and people running off those picks and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And it's a, I, it's a great sport. I mean, it, I only I picked it up in college, and it's huge around here now. When I started in college, there were very few teams in the Northwest, mm -hmm. and now it seems like every high school in in Portland has a team. Has a team. Yeah, and all the colleges do. And but yeah, yeah. and I played goal. You played goal. Yeah, which yeah. means that little rubber ball thing. You was coming at me out. about about 90 miles an hour on a regular basis. Yeah, that's real real fast. I didn't hit you. Just no. Hit. For those of you playing the game at home. Yeah, that would that did not count. Did not, it was not no, no contact. contact was made. It was carefully measured. Don't worry. I didn't want to even touch his nose. Yeah, stay away from my fake nose, please. <laughs> it's not very fragile, but it's just it weird. Don't, yeah, it doesn't move. It creeps me out. Don't don't. It show doesn't me. move. It's you fake. You know I don't like that. I, I can't help it. Are you done? We're getting late. I'm not touching it anymore. That's an OH right there. Somebody wants to get that one? Go ahead. Feel free. Watching 30-hour day, not touching it anymore. Thank you for that. What other sports should we talk about? We haven't I talked about sports, so I just figured it would be a good time. A good time filler? Yeah. I played soccer. You played soccer? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows about soccer. The U.S. Yeah, grew, the U.S. grew England. Soccer. I know about soccer. The U.S. grew England in the World Cup. Yeah. That's a big deal. Considering we call it soccer and not football. We don't even know what it's called. It's so sad. It's sad. I tried to explain that to my friend the other day. Yeah. Yeah, it's just broken. She doesn't understand why. It's hard. And now I. I don't understand either because football, American football, mm -hmm. aside from the fact that you're running on your feet, yeah, very little to do with it. Yeah, um, it's poorly named, but we'll yeah. stick with it because we're stubborn. Yeah, we we named it football, and it's gonna be football forever, yeah. whether you like Stupid. it or not. You know, here's the thing. What? I, I was never a team sports kind of girl. You did. Uh, you, gymnastics, mm -hmm. right? That's not a team sport. No, I wrestled too. That's not a team sport. No. <laughs> All you need to wrestle is a lobotomy and some tights. I don't wear tights. I wear the required uniform. I wore tights when I, when I did gymnastics. See, we have another thing in common. We both wore tights. <laughs> I didn't wrestle. In fact, I'm still wearing them right now. I wear my singlet under this every day, I'm, just for fun. Yeah, I'm not wearing tights under this. My freestyle one. Which looks a lot like Borat's <laughs> bikini. I'm just saying. That may be a little too much information. That's fine. It's nightmares. Christmas, I'm sharing. I'm gonna have nightmares. Like slowly. It's not green. What it's like red, white, and blue. No, I'm okay. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't even know where this is going, but I don't like it. I'll tell you that much. So you were, you were not the, you played you played some team sports, but then Yeah. But I always play goalie, which is like the only the individual only non Right. I tried to play football. I know why this Couldn't is. Deal with I can it. tell you. What? Because I'm a control freak. I know why you're a control freak too. Why? Please tell me. Save me years of therapy I and know money. Why? why? You're an only child. Ah, there we go. Here we go. The only child card. She's gonna play that one now. Yes, I am. You play that. As card is the senior producer of this show. You play that card constantly. You're always like, it's because I'm an only child. Because I'm a spoiled brat. I'm a spoiled brat too. I'm just not an only child. Yeah. Different I'm glad you're not an only child because you would be terrible. It would, right? Yeah, it, it would. would be, it would be bad. I'm the youngest girl. Yeah, not good. Uh, no. No. Not this good. is like, if you guys could see the set out here, like I don't know if we can switch to the producer cam up there. Producers. But it's seriously like a zombie movie right now. Like people are wandering around. They're like, uh. Can I tell you why? Why? Can I tell you why? Yeah. Because I was sitting in a chair earlier. Yeah, there they are. All those poor people. Hi. Woo! Hey, production. So I was sitting in a chair earlier over there in front of the green screen. Yeah. Next to you. Uh -huh. And you were, you were being nice and charming and not at all irritating. That's not me. And Joe. I love Joe. He came over and said, you're tired, aren't you, Cammie? And I said. 
Can you tell by the way I'm twisting my hair yeah. <laughs> constantly? <laughs> Why, yes, I may be tired. It's either I twist my hair or I pat you. Oh yeah, twist the okay, hair. Okay. Twist the hair. Keep twisting. So, um, so he said, I think I'm just going to have everybody go. Yeah, it's been very so quiet they said here. So you can have quiet time to record me in PDX. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. And now they're all gone. Now they're all gone. We just got the production it's team quiet. here. It's very quiet here. It's great. Ooh, it's getting bright. Is the sun coming Ooh, up already? The sun, oh. If the sun is rising already, wow. then I can definitely make it. Yeah, I this can is do easy. it. No problem. We got it. We got it in from here. We'll be good. I can get my second win. I'm fine. It's not gonna happen. I don't think. I think we. Uh, I think we had a second win already. <laughs> yeah, we. We need our third or fourth win. I think we had the third. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the right around the. <gasps> oh. Dr. Normal. He's back. Dr. Normal. Yay! Oh. Woo! Oh Senior producer is back. Really no, not seconds. at all. No, okay, no. There he is. Look, you can see him look, right there. Oh, look, there's my dog. Watch, Normal. watch for the suit coat. He's there he is. He's gonna smile. He's just, he's, he's mad. Why is he mad? Did, did you hear what we're we probably did? over time? You or know something. what? He saw, he saw, he saw the improv skit. <laughs> no, he didn't. I don't think he was sleeping. I had uh, Joe burn the tape or whatever did you, it is. Joe, you burned that tape, right? The, the improv, that we the said improv skit about Doctor Normal while he was gone. You held the magnet near the hard drive on that one, I hope. Sad. I <laughs> it was eerily accurate, right? I'm good. It's so good. Uh, funny. I mean, hi, baby. I love you. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't think no. so. I'm, don't I think Greg took the he took the magic locker of Whiffy's pies away. No, he tried. To, I think he tried to make everyone eat them first. Did he? But you were hiding. Where was I? You were hiding. Oh, okay, that's fine. I corner. don't need I don't need a pie right now. As much as I love the Whiffies, don't get me wrong, Greg. They're good. They're good. It's probably not the best time. No. Stuff. No, it's not the best time. Mm -mm. So, uh, looking yes. over there at old CTB, he's getting well, all set up. I think, yeah, and I think while he sets up, though, pretty soon, they might have, have a call. Oh, yeah. I, I keep know. looking at I this. I know. This is a locket. There's a it's clock really, on it. It's, there's a clock on it, but it's not a watch. But I just keep a, looking at it. Whoever thought of Oh, my gosh. It's 5.57. I that am means... three minutes from a 24-hour awake time. Woohoo! Which means I should really only have to do six more hours of the show, right? Uh, no. There's still a lot more than that. <laughs> but I've been up for 24 hours. I know, but it's I'm, not... It's supposed to be a 30-hour day, their right? It's 30, their 30-hour 30 day. So it's when they got to see you first. I've seen you for a lot longer than I so, would care to today, so quite frankly. How, when are we going to be 24 hours at 10? Can you hear my stomach grumbling on the mic? <laughs> Can you hear mine? It's like, oh, 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 oh. It's not fun. Call Pete Grillo. I want him in here in five minutes. We need Pete, food. remember when I said I wanted you here at 7? I lied. I want you here at 6. It was 6. And the bacon, too, Kmeaton. I want my hash brown. Chase? Chop, chop. I know that we've We're never met before. We're starting to get testy. But I'm hungry. So could you please but bring you me my hash before, browns? before, and then she'll be terribly embarrassed. And then if I did too. meet you, I'm sorry. I don't think I have, though. I'm pretty sure you have. But I'm really bad at that kind of thing. I, you know who I met today? Me? The mayor? No. Yes? The, you did the, the head. Mayor today. I don't, it was yesterday. Ah! God, it was oh, yesterday. I met this curses. person, too. Trick me with that time thing again. But it's the international you know date line. It's our 30-hour it day. Out. It's our 30-hour day. I guess I did meet the mayor today. That's not what I was thinking. I was. I met Toby. Oh, briefly. I met the floating head of Toby. Yeah. That's Toby, all. Who, Just... who loaded us, who did a great job. Uh, Toby Lusich, who was helping out, did a great job uh, wrangling, helping with the the nonprofits and that we're raising money for. And he's also got uh, brought us some. Uh, food donations yep. and all that kind of thing. And I think there's some toys over there. There's some toys over there and stuff. So we're really happy that he was able to help with that and dealt with the the reason the bear the food barrels were at Green Dragon was just because of Toby. Toby lined all that stuff up. He's imaginary, but he gets a lot of stuff done. I was amazed at how real his head looked. I know. It was it's kind of a puppet thing. I yeah. Have Is that why he only could stick his head through yeah. the It's actually just a Twitter avatar that you can move the jaw on. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. The same guys run Toby that run not Rick Tarosi. 
just in case you were wondering. You know, the, the Toby tweets seem more helpful. Than not Rick Tarosi? And the Rick Tarosi ones seem more, oh, I don't know. Funny? Demonic. <laughs> yeah, and realistic. Yeah. All at the same time. I know. It's almost like it's, it's my eerie. inner voice. It's eerily accurate. I don't know. People got to have their fun. That's cool. It's really, Rick just tweets from that account when he's I bored. Do. And I do. I have access like, to that. No, I don't. <laughs> And he's like, I really want to say something. When I'm really snarky. Snarky and and and, and Hockley's assholey. offline, and I can't I, I am him about it. Yeah. Then I'll just put it out there on Twitter. That's nice. You know who else has a fake uh, Twitter person? Who? So, somebody who's going to be visiting us tomorrow night. At, you mean tonight? Tonight. Jeez, I will get this straight. Tonight, eight to ten. Stephanie Strickland. That's in like twelve hours. Yeah, it's not far away. So easy. That was my pretend. Yeah, that was your yeah. pretend faint. No, my eyes were still open. If you want me to pretend faint, I could. <sighs> Whose idea was this anyway? Are we laying blame? <laughs> no, I'm just curious. We've never established whether it was I yours or mine. All I can remember about the conversation mm -hmm. was we were sitting there and we said... In our main PDX chairs. In our main PDX chairs. And we should, yeah. we, we should do a telethon. We did. And we both thought that was really funny. Uh-huh, but then we thought it was good, too. And we said we should do a 24-hour telethon. And then I remember one of us said, everybody does 24 hours. We should push the envelope and do 30, because 30 See, is a nice round number. So here's the thing. What it sounds like to me is I would break it up this way. It sounds to me like I would say everyone does 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like you would say 30 is a nice round number. Yeah, yeah. I. It's all foggy. I think like it was a group effort. A it's joint. one of the few times that Mike had the cameras and mics off, so we don't have any evidence. Yeah, why didn't he have that so that we could know who to blame in this situation? I don't know. That would be so helpful. So I could be like, Nick, Rick. <laughs> or you could be like, God, Kenny. I think we're both equally to blame. All right. But so, hopefully we're doing so, some so good. So what we need is to find someone else to blame so that we don't have to be mad at ourselves or each other. How about Mike? We've been blaming him a lot today. <laughs> Well, he's here now. It makes it harder <laughs> that he can hear me. He's not listening to you. Oh, that's right. Oh, my right. God. That was the massive tummy grumble of all I heard that grumbles. one all the way over here. It's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex of tummy oh, grumbles. Man. Um, did we, anybody got any reading on the, the dollar amount currently? Uncertain. Can someone? Thank you. Someone find out. Just so we know. We do not interested in leaning over and looking at our computer. That's a long way down over there. I can't reach that far. If I tried to get the computer, I would, no, that's I would fine. hit my Thank head, you. <laughs> yeah, I which would I've already fall done. Out of my chair. And you know, this chair doesn't seem to have an issue with me. It was no. that chair over there. Yeah, where you bonked your head twice. It hurt the first you know? time. The second time was trivial. The, the, the damage was already done. It was. It's not true. pretty. It's got a big lump. We're using makeup to cover it. Don't turn to that angle, because I can see the lump. <laughs> Huh? Um, you know what? Holly's on. Ooh, can, can she hear Holly's us? Holly's ready. Okay. Oh, you know cool. what? We're, here's the thing. We're ready to go. We have some things that we have to do behind the scenes now. So we're ready to go ahead and pass to Holly and let her do her act. And then we can move straight over to Chris when she's done. Okay. Is she doing video and audio? Oh, okay. Hi, Holly. Did I just hear Holly? Holly! Hey. hey, Mikey, can you duck down? This is my friend Holly. Oh, duck down, duck down. Hi, Holly. You can't see me waving at you, but maybe you can. I don't know. Okay, Holly, be funny. I can't, I can't hear her. We have no monitor. I have no sound from Holly. These remotes are going well. Ah. Oh, Did you twirl my hair? No, it's therapeutic. That was a quick it's set. It's really therapeutic, trust me. Try. I don't want to... Oh, yeah. that is quite nice. Yeah. It is therapeutic. All right, I see why you do it now. I feel okay. a lot better. Yeah, it's, it's helpful. It makes me feel a lot better about most things. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything can be fixed with a hair twirl, but... I wish I had my long hair right about now. <laughs> <That'd be great. laughs> No, don't even start. <laughs> don't get giggly about that kind of stuff. It's fine. 
I have other things that I'm giggling about. <laughs> I'm just not going to tell you what they are. But you should, somewhere in the deep recesses of your mind, you know. It's not pretty. Um, so they're scrambling over there to get Holly on so you can hear. And uh, she's going to do, how long is her set? Ten minutes. Okay. Cool. She'll do funny stuff. Yeah, she will. Hey, Dr. Normal has even changed into comfortable shoes. All right. That's good. Wowzer. He'll need that later in the day when he's sprinting around. He looks he looks like chipper. He, looks he does. Like he, he looks well-rested. Well he, look, he doesn't look chipper because he's Dr. Good. Normal. <laughs> he, he does look well-rested. Did you sleep, Dr. Normal? He's not. He's, oh, we got to guess. Yeah. He's not sure if he slept. Okay. I don't think he wants us talking to him right now. Oh, we might have a monitor. I don't, I don't. What? He's very non-communicative, even for Dr. Normal. Yeah, I know. He's, he's flustered. Do he's you know, scared. do you want to know how you get Dr. Normal to talk to you? <laughs> no. There are two ways. I don't want to know from you. <laughs> if someone else no, wants to tell no. me, sure. It's not even a wifely thing. Bow, it's bow. Not a, no, no, he doesn't know. No. Yeah, 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 you heard not, me. Just yeah, I wasn't going to share any of that information. He's the oversharer in that department, uh, not me. I see. Oh, wait. I hate to cut away, but. Hi, Holly. Hi, Hey. Yay. We can hear you. We can hear Holly. That's the best reception I've had all year. How are you, sweetie? Yo, I'm great. How are you? Good. Do you want to be funny for me? You know, Matt. Uh, yeah. There's a delay. I don't know if it's worth mentioning, but uh, we are really out of sync. What I'm saying, I hear from like a minute later yeah. on the video I'm watching sort of a foot away from me, <laughs> which so we're is just, live from you. We're just going to be really quiet and you talk, and then the delay won't seem so, so stressful. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Well, here I go. Uh, I feel actually very welcome because of that whole Cardiff clock thing you got there. Um, but I'm not actually from Wales, as you know. Um, I just, you know, been here four years now. It's a bit like Seattle over here, only uh, more wet. Uh, the animals travel in pairs constantly, just in case. <laughs> I just know if Noah had been from Wales, there wouldn't have been any boat. He'd have been like, screw that. If I built a boat every time it rained for 40 days, I'd have a boat problem. <laughs> but I just, um, yeah, I love being over here. Um, they got uh, bargain book shops left, right, and center. And I am a sucker for, you know, bargain book shops. I, uh, I was in one the other day and there was this, um, the Encyclopedia of Everything. I thought, well, that's my shopping done in one book. So I returned all my other books afterwards, didn't need them anymore. Next to it on the shelf, though, there was this book, um, Embracing Uncertainty. And I was going to get that too, but uh, it wasn't all that. Was, you know, not, not real sure. Um, but then I spotted a times table book for my daughter. It was like 99p, which I later learned was 11 times 9. <laughs> so that was good. That was uh, a book, uh, a, a nice purchase. But the, the lady behind me in line, she was like, oh, I remember my seven times tables because my teacher used to beat me on the hand whenever I got it wrong. And I thought, that's where I'm going wrong. All the great geniuses in life have been beaten. Yeah. Einstein, beaten. Yeah. Da Vinci, beat. Stephen Hawking, beat the crap out of. Have you seen that guy? They beat him so much he knows everything. George Bush, nope. unharmed. <laughs> Now there's a dude who could have used a beaten. So I said, screw this. Holly Jr., 
you are going to learn those times tables if and I has to beat you all night long. <laughs> and she showed me her book, How to Ta Turn Your Child, How to Turn Your Parents into the Child Protective Services. I said, oh, did this get you?